What led to the fall of Boeing, a once iconic American company? This question has left many pondering. To understand this, we need to step back in time and chart the trajectory of this aviation giant. Boeing, a name synonymous with the American dream, was born out of William Boeing's passion for aviation. The company quickly ascended the ranks, becoming a critical player in the American economy. It was a beacon of engineering excellence, consistently pushing the boundaries of what was possible in the skies. However, the late 90s marked a significant turning point for Boeing. The company decided to merge with McDonnell Douglas. On the surface, this merger seemed like a strategic move, a joining of forces that would secure Boeing's dominance in the aerospace industry. But beneath the veneer of corporate strategy, something fundamentally changed within Boeing. The merger marked a shift in Boeing's ethos. The company, once renowned for its engineering prowess, began to prioritize cost-cutting measures and financial goals. This decision led to a reliance on external partners for aircraft development, a stark departure from Boeing's tradition of nurturing in-house expertise. The focus shifted from creating the best aircraft in the world to creating the most profitable ones. This new strategy was not without its consequences. The company's quality control started to wane and delays in new aircraft programs became more frequent. The cracks in Boeing's once impenetrable armor started to show. The merger with McDonnell Douglas was the beginning of a new era for Boeing, but it came with its own set of challenges. As we move forward, we will delve deeper into these challenges and the impact they had on Boeing's fate. The merger marked the beginning of a shift in Boeing's strategy, a shift that would later prove costly. After the union with McDonnell Douglas, Boeing started to prioritize financial gains over engineering excellence. This new direction was a double-edged sword. On the one hand, it promised potential short-term profits. On the other, it risked the very essence of Boeing's identity, its commitment to quality and safety. As Boeing began to rely more on external partners for aircraft development, it inadvertently started losing its in-house expertise. This was akin to a master chef, known for his unique recipes, deciding to outsource the cooking. The result? A noticeable drop in the quality of the dishes served. Similarly, Boeing's aircraft, once the epitome of engineering brilliance, began to show signs of quality control issues. The new strategy also led to delays in new aircraft programs, like the 787 Dreamliner. Picture this, you are waiting for your favorite band's new album, but it keeps getting postponed. The anticipation turns into frustration, and you start questioning if the wait is worth it. That's precisely what happened with the Dreamliner. The delays not only resulted in financial losses, but also dented Boeing's reputation for timely delivery. This shift in strategy was akin to a game of dominoes. One small change triggered a series of events leading to operational inefficiencies. But the most significant casualty was the loss of public trust. Boeing, once a symbol of American ingenuity and reliability, was now seen as a company willing to compromise on safety for profits. In the end, the shift in strategy, which initially seemed like a smart business move, proved to be a costly misstep. It's a classic example of how a single decision can set off a chain of events that can change the course of a company's history. Boeing's new strategy had unforeseen consequences, leading to operational inefficiencies and a loss of public trust. Boeing's global supply chain network was not without its challenges. In fact, it was a complex web of interdependencies, with components for their aircraft being sourced from all corners of the globe. This system was designed to optimize cost and efficiency, but it brought its own set of problems. Firstly, Boeing had to navigate a labyrinth of cultural differences. With suppliers scattered across different countries, each with their unique work cultures and business practices, it was an uphill task to ensure seamless coordination. This cultural diversity, while enriching, often led to misunderstandings and misinterpretations, slowing down the process and causing delays. Secondly, communication barriers posed a significant hurdle. Information had to be relayed across multiple time zones, languages and systems. This proved to be a logistical nightmare, further slowing down operations and leading to costly mistakes. Moreover, the reliance on external partners for aircraft development resulted in a loss of in-house expertise. 
This meant that when things went wrong, as they inevitably did, Boeing had fewer resources to fall back on. The quality control issues that ensued were a direct outcome of this outsourcing strategy. Lastly, Boeing faced the problem of operational inefficiencies. The company's vast and complicated supply chain network was a beast that was incredibly hard to control. The grounding of the 737 MAX planes, as well as other mechanical failures, were symptoms of these inefficiencies. In retrospect, it is clear that Boeing's global supply chain strategy was a double-edged sword. On one hand, it allowed Boeing to leverage global expertise and resources. On the other, it introduced a host of problems that the company was ill-equipped to handle. The complexities of Boeing's global supply chain network added to the company's woes. These challenges, coupled with the company's shift in strategy towards cost-cutting, compounded Boeing's troubles, setting the stage for its eventual downfall. A series of incidents marked the beginning of Boeing's downfall. Unsurprisingly, when the safety of the public is at stake, trust can be lost in a heartbeat, and this was the case with Boeing. One of the most significant blows to Boeing's reputation was the grounding of the 737 MAX planes. This was not a minor glitch or a manageable setback. It was a profound failure that shook the company to its core and sent shockwaves throughout the global aviation industry. This was more than just a technical issue. It was a tragedy that cost lives. But the 737 MAX wasn't the only problem. Other mechanical failures began to surface, further tarnishing the company's reputation. These were not isolated incidents, but rather symptoms of a broader problem. The relentless pursuit of cost-cutting and outsourcing had led to a loss of expertise and quality control within the company. The Boeing that had once been a beacon of engineering excellence was now being associated with failures and mishaps. As these incidents piled up, public trust in Boeing began to erode. The company that had once been synonymous with aviation and American industrial prowess was now making headlines for all the wrong reasons. This erosion of trust was not just a PR problem, it was a business problem, and a serious one at that. Trust is the lifeblood of any business, and once it's lost, it's incredibly hard to regain. The loss of public trust had real and tangible effects on Boeing's bottom line. Orders were cancelled, stock prices plummeted, and the company found itself in a financial crisis. The downfall of Boeing is a cautionary tale for all businesses. It's a stark reminder that financial goals should never overshadow the fundamental principles of safety and quality. It shows us that short-term gains can lead to long-term losses, and that a company's greatest asset is not its products or its profits, but its reputation. These incidents, coupled with the challenges faced by Boeing, led to the company's downfall. The fall of Boeing had far-reaching consequences, but what does the future hold for the company? The aftermath of Boeing's decline painted a sobering picture. Its once unshakable position in the American economy was significantly impacted. This wasn't just about a corporate giant stumbling, it was about the ripple effects that touched every corner of the aviation industry. Jobs were at risk, supply chains disrupted, and an unsettling question hung in the air. Who would fill the void left by this titan of industry? Boeing's trials also served as a stark reminder of the dangers of prioritizing short-term financial gain over long-term excellence. The company's shift from engineering-led decision-making to a financially driven focus resulted in compromised safety, a tarnished reputation, and ultimately its downfall. This cautionary tale underscored the importance of balance between financial success and maintaining the core competencies that made a company great in the first place. But let's not write off Boeing just yet. The company has a steep hill to climb, but it's not an impossible ascent. A return to its roots, prioritizing engineering expertise over financial goals, could be the key to its recovery. In fact, it's not just a possibility, it's a necessity. The aviation industry needs Boeing to regain its former success. Boeing's potential comeback also hinges on a transparent, safety-focused corporate culture. The company must rebuild trust not just with its shareholders, but with the flying public. This may be its biggest challenge yet, but it's a challenge worth taking on. 
The future of Boeing, and indeed the broader aviation industry, depends on it. In the grand scheme of things, the story of Boeing serves as a powerful reminder of the cyclical nature of business. Companies rise, companies fall, but they also have the capacity for renewal and transformation. Boeing's future is yet unwritten, and it has the opportunity to pen a comeback story for the ages. Only time will tell if Boeing can regain its former glory. For more intriguing historical tales, subscribe to our YouTube channel History Facts. Until next time, keep exploring history.